I'm very happy to be here. Today, I'm going to present our work's title, M3 Checks, uh, Millimeter Wave-Based Multi-User 3D Posture Reconstructions. This is a joint work with uh, Jia Li Yu at Shanghai Jiao Tong University, and also uh, Xiang Yu Xu at Southeast University, and also uh, Chen Guangma from N Financial Service Group, and uh, my advisor, Dr. Yin Ying Chen at Rutgers University. So 3D human posture tracking is defined as constructing the user's skeleton posture as the user's work, seat, and moves. So we witness a broad range of uh, 3D posture reconstruction application in recent years. It has been extended from traditional applications such as filmmaking, fitness checkings, to some commercial applications such as AR VR game, smart home controls, and also uh, fitness tracking. So what are the existing works for 3D posture reconstructions? So existing works are mainly relied on vision-based approach and also wearable device. For example, why pose? Uh, for example, the, uh, recently they have been uh, existing tool to extract uh, convert the videos and also uh, image into uh, 2D skeleton postures. And also, Kinet has been widely used in motion checking games. It uses uh, depth cameras to capture user's 3D uh, posture. And also, uh, there, is, there is a WICO, which is uh, commercial applications that have been used, wearable device, and also cameras to check users uh, 3D posture. It has been used in specialized scenarios such as filmmakings. Well, this camera-based approach, they are susceptible to uh, lining condition and also they can penetrate through the user's privacy because they capture the user's uh, private information along with the camera frames. So recently there have been research studies exploring using radio frequency signals to capture users 3D posture, such as MM pose, Y pose. However, this existing approach may realize posture reconstruction on a single user. For example, Y pose, MM pose, and MMMH, they all uh, realize single user posture reconstructions. Although some studies such as RF pose 3D, they construct uh, multiple users posture, but it requires a specialized sensors with a large antenna array. So using a commercial of the shelf device to realize 3D posture reconstruction, multi-user 3D posture reconstruction is remain an unsolved and challenging task. In this work, our objective is to leverage a commercial of the shelf device to simultaneously construct and check multiple users as they move, work, and sit. Our objective is to first realize multi-user posture reconstruction to construct the posture of up to four persons at the same time. Second, we want to reconstruct the posture of individual users and at the same time, we want to check the position of multi-user. So here, we have three, uh, several challenges to face when we design such a multi-user posture reconstruction system. So first, we need to separate the postures from multiple users in the millimeter wave signals. This is a challenging task. Our solution is that we check the users, detect and check the users based on range and angle, two dimension, so that we can separate multiple users. And second, we need to model the postures of individual users. To realize, uh, to adjust this challenge, our solution is a fork, convolutional LSTM networks to construct the users posture of individual users. The third challenge is that we need to check the user's positions at the same time as we reconstruct uh, user's postures. To realize this, we design a karma filter based method to continuously reconstruct the user's posture and at the same time check the user's position. So here is a showcase of our uh, design system. We realize a uh, millimeter wave based 3D posture reconstruction system with a single device. Our device can check the multiple users' posture 
at the same, uh, and also check their positions at the same time. So our system consists of three parts. The first part, we need to detect and also separate the minimum signals from each individual user. To realize this objective, we design a multi-user posture separation module. And in addition, we need to derive the postures of individual users. We design a deep neural network of four convolutional LSTM networks to realize this task. And third, we need to map the reconstruct postures into the 3D space, into the Catastrian 3D space so that we can realize checking the positions, a user's positions and also their postures simultaneously. So here is a show, uh, here, here is a showcase that of our multi-user posture reconstruction system. The first step, we separate the signals of multi-users. So our key ideas is that we detect the user's posture, uh, use detect the users in the range and also angle dimensions. As you can see that we first calculate the Doppler shift informations at each individual range beams. The Doppler information reflects the velocity. We can see that uh, for the static object, there will be zero velocity, and for the human subject, even the user is standing. The breath, the vital signs, they will cause velocity and Doppler shifts in the range beam so that we can detect the users in each range beam by using a Doppler effect. To realize this, we design a convolutional, uh, a convolutional kernel to separate the static and dynamic object. We can see in the convolutional kernel, well, for the center part, it is zero, which means that the convolutional will be zero if it is static object. Otherwise, we will uh, result in a, a magnitude if, we, if the Doppler effect is significant. In this way, we can separate the static and dynamic object. So another challenge is that if the multiple user is standing at the same range means, we need, still need to separate these two users. Our method is to use uh, angle information to assist us. As we can see that we calculate uh, angle, and uh, angle information along with the range information and then we detect the response of the users at different angles. In this way, we can separate uh, multiple users by using both range information and also angle information. The next step is that after we segment the users, uh, users millimeter wave data, we need to extract information, we need to extract features. So we design two set of features. The first is shape features. For this information, we, did, uh, we leverage the range angle profiles to extract the shape features. And in addition, the user's motion can also ca be used to characterize the user's postures. In this, uh, for, the range, uh, for this motion information, we use the range Doppler profiles to describe a user's motions. Instead of using the whole user's body information, at the same time, we designed a three-cylinder-based approach to extract more fine-grained information. We designed one cylinder for the head, one cylinder for the torso and arm, and also one cylinder for the legs. Because these three parts of human body parts will have different shape information and also motion information, we treat them separately. We use three cylinders to extract fine-grained information corresponding to the user's posture. So after we extract the feature, the next step is that we need to reconstruct the postures of each individual users. Our solution is a fork, new, uh, convolutional neural network. The fork means that we combine the shape features along with the motion features together for the posture reconstructions. This, our module involves three parts. The first part is a global body shape feature extractor to process the user's shape information. And also we have a local body motion feature extractor to process the motion, uh, to process the motion information. After that, we have a concatenation module to combine 
the shape information and both and local motion information together to reconstruct the user's posture. So for the global body shape, uh, con we use our convolutional LSTM neural networks. The convolutional layer will help to learn the local, uh, local features, feature maps to characterize user the shape information. And also we use an LSTM to learn the information in time series. By combining convolutional and LSTM, we can derive the user's body shape information. And we also designed a And we also design a local body information extractors, which is to learn on the user's local body information. And the input of this model is the Doppler range in profiles. And for this information, we use a convolutional layer and two max, po uh, max pooling layers to learn on the uh, body information. And after that, we use a concatenation layer to concatenate the global body shape features and also the local body information features to derive the user's 3D skeleton posture. So after that, although we derive the user's 3D skeleton posture, a question is that we cannot check the user's positions. This is because the derived posture information only contain the coordinates centered at the user's body. So to realize a 3D posture, uh, to realize checking the user's information in a 3D space, we first need to derive the cloud point. We calculate the cloud point use uh, uh, CFAR algorithms for all users. And then we need to map this cloud point information along with the posture information we reconstruct. Our solution is that we first cluster the cloud point into different clusters. For each cluster corresponding to a user, we calculate the minimum distance between the user's reconstruct posture and the cloud point so that we can find a best match between the cloud point and user's 3D postures. Another challenge is that for the millimeter ra radar, it is, a polar, uh, it, it is a polar coordination system. It's not a Cartesian coordination system. To converge the polar coordination system into a Cartesian, which is our objective, we need to find a mapping. So to derive a mapping, our solution is to use a Karma filter, which helps to find the internal state between the polar coordination to the Cartesian coordination systems. This is our geometric relationship algorithm we derived to learn such a mapping. We conduct extensive experiments to evaluate our systems. So for the millimeter radars, we use the AWR 1443 uh, millimeter radar with three TX and four IX. We conduct the experiments in three environments and the distance between the sub, uh, subject and the radar is from 1.2 meter to seven meters. So, and also we use two connect, two kinet to capture the ground truth coordinates of the user's body, uh, 3D body postures. We collect the data of 15 subjects and with four maximum subjects at the same time. So this slide shows our uh, posture reconstruction system for a static, uh, for the static activities, where the users play, uh, performed in, in place activities uh, for one single subject to four subjects. We can find that our algorithm can capture the user's 3D skeleton postures. And also our system work in dynamic scenarios where the users walk from one place to another our system can still check the user's position and at the same time reconstruct the user's posture. So here is a statistic result to show how our system performs for each individual users. We can find that for overall depth and ESMO and elevation, the forward dimension to characterize the user's 3D posture, the maximum error is 
around uh, 40 millimeter. And also, we find that as the number of users increase, our error does not increase significantly, which means that our system can uh, well check the user's uh, posture even when the number of users increase. So we also conduct experiments in different indoor environments, including labs, corridor meeting rooms, and outdoor space. We can find that our system have consistent performance across different environments. We compare our algorithm with two state-of-the-art 3D posture reconstruction algorithms, including y pose and mm pose. We found that our system have the lowest errors compared to the other state-of-the-art approaches. And also, our system have low localization errors. The localization error are around 22 millimeters across our testing scenarios. So we also study what is the minimum distance that our system can measure for, because when captured the posture of multiple users, the two users may get in too close to each other and, um, and our system may not work in that scenarios. And we test such sensing capability of our systems. We find that our system can still work uh, when two users are at a close distance of four, four meters, the error the error rate is around 50 meters, 50 millimeters. So we also test our system in a clue scenario where there is no line of sight between the human subjects and also the radar device. And we can find that our system can still work in such scenario. Here we show a demonstration of how our system on tracking the users in a single user scenarios. And we can find that when the user raises his hand and also walking forward and backwards, our system can check the user's skeletons precisely. And, and it also works when multiple users showed in the same times. So let's summarize our contribution. The first we propose a multi-user 3D posture reconstruction re uh, system by using a single millimeter wave device. We design algorithm to effectively separate multi-user in both range and angle dimensions. In addition, we also design a cloud points based approach based on Karma filters to map the user's postures into 3D coordinates to make our system able to reconstruct the posture and checking the users at the same time. And finally, we conduct extensive experiments under various uh, evaluation settings to show that our system is, uh, is effective under practical scenarios. So this is all the presentation, and I'm happy to answer questions.